Air, what's going on everybody? It's our Pop King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. It's about that time, y'all. It's time for the NBA 2K13 wish list coming from me. Um, I was on Twitter earlier, well, not earlier, but yesterday, and I was hitting up uh, K Spade about 2K13. Um, my man came out with a wish list a while back, you know, about uh, earlier this month, and um, Ronnie2K had tweeted saying that, you know, they, they, they're they looking at new ideas about 2K13. And I was like, okay, well, since so y'all doing all of that, why not come out with my wish list so, you know, they can take a few of my things into consideration, you know, things that I want implemented into the game. So, first, to start it off, I have been a fan of the 2K series since the beginning. Since my man Allen Iverson got five covers straight. See, y'all might not y'all might not remember that. Like, Allen Iverson really had five covers straight. Like, come on, man. Like, 2K Series already knew what it was about, man. Being from Philly, it's like, yo, when you got that 2K in your hand, every time it came out, it was like crack. Rogue talk. So, I'm going to just get that out the way. And um, I really did like when 2K Sports actually took over publishing um, NBA 2K Series games. Now, from NBA 2K to 2K5, Sega really had, you know, all the strings and, you know, tied to that. But once 2K Sports took over with 2K6, things got a little bit better. And when 2K9 hit, yo, online gaming was at an all-time high. You couldn't tell me one person that I knew that didn't want to play online with NBA 2K9. That's real talk. All you hear all day, yo, head up, head up, rank up match. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> but, um... Uh, you know enough of that man we already know that my player took over in 2k10 and it's been a blaze crew mode oh my goodness we're we not even gonna talk about that i'm gonna get into that a little bit later but the first thing on my list is the nba greatest mode now only have one flaw and one thing that needs to be added to the nba greatest mode i want every single great athlete to be in that mode people like reggie miller yeah i said reggie <laughs> and my man Chuck, we already know who Chuck is, man. Charles Barkley, um, they, you know, it was a lot of speculation that was going on with them not being able to get the contract or whatever. Please get these people into this game. If they didn't win championships, it doesn't matter, man. These people are still great. They're still in the Hall of Fame. They're still top ten in whatever stat sheet on the build. Look, I don't listen. All right, I'm not gonna make this into a rant. I promise you guys, I wasn't gonna rant. So, with that being said, let's move on. <laughs> now, NBA 2K My Player Mode, the mode that mostly every person is playing right now. I mean, right now. As they're watching this video, they probably got the sticks on, on pause right now. I guarantee it. I guarantee you right now, 3 million people got the, got the sticks up right now playing My Player Mode. But listen, um, the first thing is, with our My Players, we need to have different integrated voices. Um, if your guy is a 6'1 white guy, you know, my player made, he shouldn't be talking like a 6'7 black dude. I'm just I'm just keeping it a bean. You know, we need more voices on our my players. We need more accessories. We need more haircuts. Oh, my God. The haircut designs are horrible. They're the same from last season. And, you know, we, we're kind of fed up with that. Um, also, tattoos. Come on. Everybody is tatted up. Y'all don't know that now? <laughs> like, everybody has tattoos now. So, you guys got to give us more tattoos, sleeves. You got to give us more designs, all of that. Now, another thing, the shoes. Oh, my God. Everyone loves the shoes. Did you not see? Is it the shoes? Come on. I know y'all seen it, 2K Sports. Come on. We need more shoes. Um, also, the Michael Jordan shoes this season for 2K12 was actually a code that you had to put in before you start in my player mode or you weren't going to get the shoes in my player mode so you know how many people had to start their my players over after realizing mind you there are already 20 games into the season and they had to start their my players over just to get the jordan shoes thinking that they were going to be unlockable like last year's now another thing with the whole shoe thing i know you guys try to give us new shoes you know um new updates every time that somebody drops a shoe that's cool that's all dandy but please when you give us these updates don't put a little glitch in the matrix and give us white glowing shoes or mess up our commercials and our endorsements and all of that you guys gotta fix that from the rip now the next thing in my player mode i feel as though since it's called my player the teams, the announcers, the entire league needs to be able to get some type of, how should I say, 
should give your player a shine. You know, um, take the halftime report, for instance. Um, Andre Blatch, he has about eight points maybe. And he'll get praise while I have about 20 points at halftime. We need, we need, you know, a little bit of difference on that. I need to be the man shining in the halftime conference or halftime show, whatever you want to call it. I need to be able to be the, my player or the player to get that shine from me putting out that much output. Now, um, last but not least, um, matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to move on to the gameplay a little bit later. But one thing that I will say, um, when you guys glitch us and we get, in, we get the starting position in all-star games and the rookie sophomore games and all of that, please let us get our starting positions. Um, I got starting position for all three of my, my players, and I didn't start. So that's one thing that you guys really need to fix. Also, we need to be able to pick, you know, our jerseys when we play games. Also, um, the AI. Oh, man, the AI. If I would have missed this, people would have killed me. Um, the AI needs to be better. I think in my player mode, they need to be able to change the sliders as well as just the difficulty. Um, I think that if for any reason our teammates are ass, we need to be able to turn the sliders down for opposing teams or our team just so we can have a level playing field. Now, I know it's not your guys' fault that, you know, you made Hall of Fame so horribly hard and it takes a lot for us to actually win games on Hall of Fame because I already know the deal, man. I play so many games on Hall of Fame and I only can post the games that I actually win, but I lose and win, you know, about the same ratio. But it's, it's easy to score, but it's harder to get your team involved. So I can't understand why you guys made Hall of Fame so hard, but I still can't understand why. It's so damn hard to the point of raging. <laughs> so please, you know, make that a little bit better. Now, moving on to the next thing. Association. Now, I'm going to sum this up. Association is pretty good. Um, I heard I heard that the online association is a little bit great. Now, I heard that the online experience overall is way better than previous 2K series. I will give you guys that. I can clap that up for you guys. But i heard that it should be a little bit more implemented into the whole association experience and a little bit more free free roam type things you know making uh different jerseys arenas you know trying to you know trying to you know spice things up a little bit so with that i'm, I'm not too much into it because i'm not an association guy but you know i know there's plenty of you guys out there that play association that association that want more so for whatever reason leave in the comment section what you guys need and hopefully they'll see it now Create a legend. I love it. Um, I really don't have too much to say about that. All it is is my player mode with an all-star or a superstar or one of your favorite players in the NBA. I like that. No things about that. Now, season slash playoffs mode. Get that out of here. That is something we don't need. It, we don't need to play a regular season or play any certain type of playoff scenarios and all like that. We don't need that. We're not worried about that. As actual basketball fans, all we're doing is playing five on fives against each other or my player mode. <laughs> Real talk. Black top mode. Wow. Um, people thought I wasn't going to say this. Black top mode needs a lot more. We need one on ones. Two on twos, three on threes, four on fours. We also don't don't put the dunk contest in that. Please don't. Also, don't put the three point shot contest back in that at all. You're just gonna be slapping us in the face once again. For black time mode, just make it street ball. You know, um, for the like, I'm, I'm you know what? I'm gonna add this in. Just like the legends showcase that you gave us. Um, okay, it was a DLC. It was downloadable. We had to pay for it. All it is is black top mode with a little bit more features. I just say integrate all of it into one and actually let us play with the legends, play with everybody, give us a few activity games, make it something like NBA Street. You know, a lot of people are reverting back to NBA Street V3 and stuff like that. Why don't you guys actually make that type of mode in the game for fun? You know, it might bring, you know, a whole new standpoint to the actual game. Now, moving on, practice mode. Um, what can I say about practice? Practice makes perfect. Simple as that. I, I don't have much to say about that. Now, the online experience itself, a lot of people have been waiting for this. Um, Timestamp this, guys. We need crew mode. We need crew mode. I'm not talking about team up crew. I'm talking about crew mode, my players. We need all of that back. I'm telling you, there's so many people out there that just, you know, facepalm every day because they can't play crew mode on NBA 2K12 with their my players. Now, I like that you guys made up this whole 2K uh, sign in code and you can only play with one certain my player on your actual uh, sign in for Xbox and PS3. I love that. 
but why didn't you guys give us a crew mode it would have been so much better if y'all guys would have did that i'm telling you i would have clapped it up my damn self real talk so all i can say is bring back crew mode also give us some more give us some you know all right i'm gonna just put it like this give us something to jizz over real talk give us something to jizz over um now i know you guys try to give us a little bit of something by making our own jerseys in 2k11 you know colors and all of that give us a little bit more of that give us new logos and even team logos some of us want to play looking like our actual favorite teams now another thing is the arena please don't give us the same old yellow white and black arena and everybody that you playing up against got yellow black and white so now don't nobody know who's home and who's away come on man you need you guys need to give us the actual customization that we need now um i was watching k spade wishlist the other day and he said it perfectly you know it make it something like ncaa team builder now i'm not saying you know do exactly like that still any ideas and nothing like that because i know that's a different company but give us customization we need that seriously um let's see Last but not least, um, the 2K share and 2K shoes. Um, let's see. Uh, for the 2K share, if you guys are going to be having people sharing certain rosters with us and updates like that, try to have these people put in a lot of detail about what they're sharing with us so it doesn't seem like, oh, well, this is for Allen Iverson, but everybody else there aren't any rookies and all of that you know the whole dilemma that everybody was having we don't really want that now the 2k shoes i love the nike id idea but let us customize every single shoe in the game don't just give us five shoes and say oh well the kids are doing enough with it we're, we're not worried about it you know that's that's all cool and dandy maybe maybe next year <laughs> you know um we, we're not worried about that man um really we're only worried about three things in this game Worried about the five on five playing up against each other online. We're worried about my player mode, and we're worried about crew mode. That's the only thing on everyone's list this year for 2K13 coming up. I'm keeping it 100 with y'all, 2K Sports. I love y'all to death, but y'all got to do something more. <laughs> Real talk, man. I just I, it's something about you know being in a crew. Um, playing up against people that you don't even know different countries different states different regions different time zones that's what needs to be back in NBA 2k series now a lot of people probably are gonna be like oh well all he all he wants is a crew mode I really didn't like that mode all right well if you don't like crew mode you can suck it because everyone I know loves crew mode that's real talk I don't know one person that played NBA 2K11, NBA 2K10 that did not love crew mode. Come on, man. You guys got to be... You can't be serious with me right now. Crew mode was one of the best modes ever. Like, and, and what makes it so bad, I'm saying that it was one of the best when it seems like it's going now. Like, it's never going to come back. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, oh, it's not coming back. They'll never bring it back. We're all praying. You know, I got my head down right now. I'm in the Indian style position right now. I'm trying to pray. <laughs> But, um, yeah, man, also, uh, let's get into the gameplay. I know I didn't talk about that at all. Um, it's a lot that's wrong with this game. A lot. Now, for instance, um, I'm playing on 2K camera view right now, right? Now, when I'm on defense, it seems that my player isn't making the moves that I want him to make. Like, you notice that still, right? I try to steal the ball, but he, he keeps moving when I don't want him to move. Like, um, say I try to go for a steal or I'm actually defending the guy and I'm, you know, sliding back and forth, you know, in a stance. My guy will actually overshoot what I'm actually trying to do with the player. And also, oh, man, the little bouncing the ball off of bodies and toes and all of that. Come on. Is it that's it? I know you guys try to make it as realistic as you could, but come on. Bounce it off my teammate foot. Knowing damn well, it just, all I did was bounce it next to him and it just bounced on his back and automatically I lost the ball. Come on, 2K. I know you guys can do better than that. It's a lot that you can do. Also, with all the bumping that goes on. You know, in 2K11, oh man, going around the screens was so perfect. It, it, I don't know why you guys changed it. Going, going around screens, coming off picks, everything was moving fluidly. But now in 2K12... 
When you try to, you know, go past the defender, he'll push the hell out of you. I mean, literally, one time I almost got pushed and I fell. <laughs> I swear to God, yo, I'm not lying. I literally fell. That's how bad it got. Now, also, another thing, when you get pushed like that, that should be a blocking foul. Because when somebody's dribbling and you try to actually, you know, keep them past half court, you get called for a blocking foul. So why can't I get called for a blocking foul if a guy pushes me out of bounds while I'm trying to cut baseline and things like that? You know, they're, they're the small things that need to be fixed. Also, passing. Um, I know that you guys didn't want to make the whole... Uh, pick and roll situation as you know overpowering as it was in 2k11 i understand that you guys did a you guys did an okay job with fixing that but now you made it so that can't nobody pick and roll <laughs> really um i even seen the computer try to pick and roll time and time again and it's a total fail so what i say is what you guys have to do is in order for someone to actually call a pick and roll i think that they should have to clear it out and then call a pick and roll that would be awesome you know it wouldn't be too overpowering but it would be enough to realize how real basketball is because right now this game isn't real basketball all it is is a couple fluid movements and you know guys bumping and you know hugging until somebody scores that's real talk <laughs> now the next thing in the gameplay the glitches um let's see the backcourt glitch i hate that um, when a person is bringing the ball up and you just stand like right past half court, they'll actually do a, a crossover move and step on the line for backcourt for no apparent reason. You're not even playing defense yet. You're just at a half court press. <laughs> I don't know why, but that, that's something that happens in this game. Also, um, when you call him for the ball and the player knows that he can't make that pass but he tries it anyway and the pl and the actual ball goes off like someone's back or something like that come on that's dynamics the ball should act like you should have a button for bounce passing if you want to send out an actual pass to somebody and you know you won't be able to pass it in midair you should be able to give us a button to actually bounce pass it instead of just giving off the same old passes all the time and then once in a blue moon you may you know pull off a bounce pass and you didn't even mean to bounce pass it so when you actually do bounce pass it the time is already gone you know the, the person can't make the shot anymore because the pass took too long so it's, it's, it's a couple things that you know have to go on in this game also all the bump animations and layups oh man like you guys just saw um my man went in for a layup he got bumped even though he still made the layup he, it's a foul it's a it's clearly a foul my man got bumped but it looked like he got hit by an air pocket because no one touched him but he did get bumped that's that's something that happens now now peep that i just caught a blocking foul you know, I'm, I'm about to get subbed out the game. Now, look at the time. This is another thing. Coach AI, Team AI, look at what's about to happen to this game. The end of this commentary is coming. Yes, it's coming. But look what happens to this score. Now, we were hanging on to a seesaw lead all game long. By the time that they are done in the first half, I will be losing by 20 dead serious with you guys this is no lie this is what happens in 2k when you're playing on hall of fame your team does nothing nothing i'm losing by over 20 points come on 2k come on, you guys got to do something better than that man i'm losing by 20 and I, and I kept up with these guys the entire game 69 or 44 that that's not realistic that's not realistic now look at now i got to show you guys something this is the funny part about this the halftime report is here. Check this out. We're both shooting almost 50%. Look at the free throw ratio. Come on, man. Come on, 2K. You guys got to do better than this. Um, other than that, man, shout out to my um, Game Face Studios, my community channel. Come check me out on my channel. Also, um, Ronnie2K, Chris Manning, 2K Sports, all of y'all, please take this into consideration, man. Um, I spent a little bit of time thinking about all of this stuff, but you guys already know what it is. It's IKC. I'm signing out. I hope, hopefully, this helped everybody. Um, if it was something here that you didn't see, leave it in the comment section. All right, y'all. Peace.